Hello everybody, welcome to Smile Comics. So for today's how to draw video, I'm going to be doing uh, more of a tutorial on how to ink. And I'm using Paint Tool Sci today, um, and which is, this is what I normally use for any digital stuff I do. Uh, I just find that it's, the inking tool on this is a lot easier to use than Photoshop or anything I've found. Um, to get these to get clean lines so the first thing I want to do after you get your uh, your initial sketch made here I went ahead and drew Wonder Woman uh, that's I decided that that's what we're gonna do today um, now there is some background noise there's a lot of uh, wind kicking up outside and I can't really help that so uh, bear with me for this tutorial but we're gonna go ahead and get started here so the first thing you want to do is create a line work layer and that's this little uh, button here if you see my mouse on the right um, make sure you're watching this in 1080p by the way it's the best way you, you'll probably be able to see everything a lot clearer now with the line work layer it's it's pretty it's pretty simple to use I like to click the line tool on the left here you can see that it looks like the end there but I always click uh, let's see let's start with the seven point um, seven point tip there okay now that we have that uh, what I like to do is I like to put a start and oh, whoops wrong color all right I like to put a start a starting point and an end point so let's say this is gonna be a continuous line all the way down to our boot so that's a st we're just gonna do a straight line down like that and that's what the line tool you're gonna tap it I believe it's left click and then right click to stop it just to let it go but we're just gonna do two points there and what I like to do is if it's a curvy area I like to do a, fl a straight line and then start manipulating it myself with the edit tool and basically with this you can start manipulating it and getting it to the curvature uh, that you want okay so this is going you're just gonna match this up with the curvature of your initial sketch okay and so let's go ahead and match this up here let's zoom out oh we zoomed in right to our crotch it's not what we wanted there we go now our Wonder Woman's gonna be a little bit muscular because it's I kinda based her design uh, after um, the way Adam Hughes draws his superhero ladies if you uh, guys are familiar with him as an artist he's, he's pretty cool he does a lot of uh, he doesn't really do comic book pages he does a lot of covers for comic books so that's that's kind of unique uh, with him he does a lot of the big comic books um, cover art and he's really famous for Wonder Woman uh, Catwoman especially and I think I don't know. Pretty much uh, like like the like any female superhero, he's pretty much done, and that's what he uh, is really known for. But basically, now after matching up that line, we have a pretty clean line there, and that's just the outside line of Wonder Woman's um, leg and kind of torso area. So we'll bring that layer back. I, I just turned it uh, invisible there. Um, now that we have that done, I, I went ahead and lowered the opacity of the third or the second layer here. It says layer three because I had a, another layer underneath that before. But now that we have that, let's see. Let's go back to our line work layer. Now, when working with this, you're going to want a couple of layers active at a, at a time uh, because it's just gonna help when you're coloring it later so one thing I like to do is with the pressure tool here on the left side I like to edit the curves like the bigger curves here to just be a little bit thicker and if you if you grab a point that you made or you can make another one if, if there's not a point there um, you can kinda make the lines thicker and mess with it a little bit but I like to just just make it real subtle and make it look like there's uh, 
some line weight added there purpose like uh, on purpose so let's go ahead and do this side now so here we go we're gonna stop this one here at let's say the ankle okay and that's a long straight line but we're gonna match it up no problem okay now there will be a ridge here I didn't account for on the other side so let's go ahead and make two dots because this is what we're gonna do here we're gonna curve this in here because there's like a metal belt that she has like a gold metal belt and we're gonna make that kind of pop out a little bit so it looks like it's just it, it's an actual has some thickness to it on that metal belt and it's not just like a skin tight suit. Same thing with the underwear. It's going to be a little tiny gradual line there. There we go. Just dividing up the glutes. There we go. And I usually start with the outline of a character and then I start working on the initial uh, inside definition of the character like any um, lines for the knees and things like that all right so there we have and the right or our right her left side of her body done and we're actually going to go in again and we're gonna fix the other side because here I uh, I messed it up a little bit because I want this to come out a little bit Right about, oh, we need a second point. Give me the point. There we go. Sometimes it's a little tricky. Alright, same thing with the bottom part there. There we go. We're probably going to trim, thin that out a little bit. There we go. Alright, same thing. We're going to go back to the pressure tool. Give it a little bit of uh, varying line weight. I like to thicken it up on the curves and thin it out when it starts kind of uh, and kind of going inward. There we go. Okay. And there you go. All right, that's kind of the basics to inking something. Is uh, just basically. Uh, it's basically just drawing one line uh, on paint tool side and then cleaning it up so uh, by like matching it up to the initial sketch you did and that's the kind of the the, the best way I found using paint tool side to get these clean lines because normally let's go ahead and let's go up here a little bit let's get the pen tool out so normally people would try to ink and they'll kind of you know, let's let's do let's do the boob, but the boob is like all. See how wonky that is. I can never get it as clean as I want to when I'm working with a tablet, and you can even do this uh, just using a mouse. So, like even if you scanned a picture into your computer or took a photo of it and then opened it up in uh, Paint Tool Sci, you could just do a new layer, a line work layer, and then draw over it with this and get those clean lines that you want, and you can kind of vector it out yourself. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video. I'm going to ink the rest of this picture up for you guys. And once that is all inked, I'm going to cut back in when we're ready to do the hair. Okay, because the hair can be tricky and I have a couple of tricks to help you guys out with uh, doing the hair. Okay, guys? So uh, we'll go ahead and start the speed drawing portion of this video. Okay? All right. So while I'm kind of inking the rest of this picture I kinda wanna talk about um, this style here uh, so I'm using the seven point or the seven pixel um, line in order to do most of the outlining like the outer silhouette of the character but I'm doing the inner lines like the lines for her underwear and belt and things like that um, that's done with the five point I, I tend to vary up the line weight but if you're doing an anime or manga type of look, uh, most of the time 
there is no line weight. There's no line variation when you're doing a character. It's all done with the same line weight throughout the whole uh, piece. Uh, comics don't do that, usually, that is. But um, And that's just the difference in the two styles. Um, also, I, I want to talk about uh, Pink Tool Psy uh, in itself. So the version I use is the full version. Uh, now, a lot of you are using the trial or don't have this program at all. Um, I will actually leave a link in the description of where you can download um, the full version, okay? And that's where I got my version of Paint Tool Size, so you guys can go get it as well. Um, and I'll also leave a link to WinRAR. If you're not familiar with what WinRAR is, it's kind of a um, so it's a it's a program that takes compressed files and opens them for you. So I'll leave a link to that because you're going to need that in order to open the file to kind of install Pink Tool Sci. So I'll leave you both of those and kind of save you the hassle of finding it. But that's just in case if uh, you don't have Pink Tool Sci. But let's go ahead here and wrap up the uh, initial inking of her body and everything. And I'll kind of go into how to do the hair, okay? All right, so now we're at the point where we can finally start the hair. The first thing you want to do is open a separate line work layer, okay, on the right side. Um, the reason you want to do this is because when you're working on a new section uh, like the hair, that's going to require you doing a lot of points that you are going to need to move around um, when you're manipulating this, this straight line here, because it's going to be a fluid line, but you're going to be manipulating a lot of these points. Um, it helps a lot to do a different layer so you're not messing with the one underneath it. And then toward the end of your drawing, you can kind of merge these layers together in order to create, you know, one solid line work layer. But as of right now, at this point, you, you should always practice doing the hair on its own layer in order to get it um, looking correct and looking clean. Now, with this hair here, uh, I end up doing a seven point uh, line as well, uh, like I did before, but I end up um, kind of thinning out the lines as I go back. I think I go down to a four at one point, but the next kind of lock of hair will be a five, and then it'll probably be a five for that third lock of hair on the right side there, going up from the one I'm working on now, and then it will go to a four for that last bit. Um, and that's usually how I do it when I get some, something gets farther away I thin it out when it gets closer to the lens or the camera or the person it tends to be thicker and the real trick when doing hair is you want to make the hair or the lines look as smooth as possible it helps a lot when making if you're making clean lines when when doing this and let's see here so I'm gonna go ahead and speed up this hair process but you're gonna see me add in a lot of lines okay and and I'm gonna do the general outline kind of first and then I'll start really adding in those other lines that are in between the locks of hair to give a definition okay so let's go ahead and speed this up a little bit alright so now I'm just gonna finish up this hair outline here and what's gonna happen next is one thing I like to do is I like to make the bottom layer of the hair transparent so I can really get a feel uh, for where these lines I'm laying down are, are supposed to be and that's just to help me see the uh, uh, the, the the inner lines of the hair the kind of the defining lines uh, on the inside to kind of give it the flowing look and the reason I do that is because it's just uh, it's just easier to see and that's one of the reasons I I do my initial sketch in blue so I can see the black lines that I'm when I'm inking over it because if I did it in gray it'd be a lot more difficult to uh, to see it so whenever you're sketching I recommend using a different color than your inking line so you use a you know a, a bright color like a green a red or a blue uh, instead of using like a gray scale um, type of color when you're doing your your initial sketch of something and the great thing about doing this ink style I'm I'm using here is even if it's 
you're doing something messy when you're initially sketching it when you end up inking it it always looks clean because you uh, may have saw at the beginning my initial sketch was very rough and now we're just cleaning it up and that's the whole point of showing you how to ink and paint to the side because you can get really clean lines here okay so for this next step you're gonna wanna open a new layer because what we're gonna do now is do kind of a cell shading effect uh, and what's this is gonna be the heavily darkened areas that you see in comics but this also works if you do it um, in a different color to add in cell shading areas when, when you're working with anime and manga and things like that but I'm gonna use this here I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw just about where I want the heavy blackened in areas to be and then I'm gonna use the ink tool in order to make a cell shaded kind of block or outline of where these uh, shaded in areas are and I'm gonna, just gonna start defining it from there so here I'm just drawing in these initial uh, messy outlines in a separate layer and I'll get rid of it later in order to get this uh, a feel for where I'm going to put the shaded in areas so this next step is going to require you to create a new line work layer and what I like to do is turn down the opacity of the last two line work layers so I can see what I'm working with since it's going to be black on black um, so now I, I just so I can see where I'm working um, when you're doing this uh, since it's kind of jagged I like to put instead of a continuous line like we did last time I like to put points on where the hard parts are or the the really sharp corners are in order to create like that hard edge so um, just basically we're gonna go through this and I'm gonna fast forward but it's going to be just we're gonna cell shade everything so we're gonna outline it very quickly here of where exactly our sh our shadows are going to be okay so for this next part you're gonna want to use the wand tool in order to select the areas that you're going to be shading in on the line layer tool or on the line uh, work layer um, you're going to be selecting this but uh, on the magic wand tool I want to show you a couple things so there is three settings on the left side that you can choose from there's transparency strict fuzzy and then the color difference um, you want to make sure you're clicked on the transparency strict uh, portion of the of the selections there and you want to turn up your transparency differential up a little bit I have minus 67 right there um, but you're just gonna select those little the inside of those line work areas and then what you're going to do uh, once you select it you can go back through and clean up the areas it missed because it tends to leave little white uh, unselected gaps uh, where the uh, that wand didn't actually get to so just go back in and, and kind of clean that up with the uh, select tool the free select then on the layer underneath it you want to click layer fill in order to shade in those areas and that's a different layer that I did there and you want to just fill it in with um, a solid black so now you have two separate layers there is a color layer which is just the black and then there's a line work layer above that okay now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go back in and clean up uh, clean it up a little bit with the eraser tool and I'm gonna go into the color layer and kind of define or put some definition on where the ribs are so I'll put a couple of um, highlights there and I'll also go back in where the breastplate is uh, and kind of define where the uh, end of the breastplate is and where the actual clothing or the fabric part starts in her uniform okay so let's move on to the next part here so now that we got our initial cell shaded areas in we're gonna go back in on the line work layer and add in some shade lines okay and we're just going to use the six point um, pixel line there and we're just going to do some straight lines and they don't have to be perfect just yet because remember you can move each end to line them up uh, correctly but basically what I do is I create a bunch of lines in a row and then I start tapering them off so it looks like it was a like a quick slash that tapers off 
And another effect I do is I actually create speed lines by creating multiple lines that are, they, they just go down in line weight. So they're not as thick and they just kind of get thin out as you can see there. Um, and that creates a cool little effect, but I don't taper those off. I just leave those getting thinner as they as they go. Okay, and that's just uh, one of the effects you can use in order to create that uh, shade line effect that you see in comics in Paint Tool Psy. So once you're done, you end up with a pretty cool shading effect, and with this you can actually combine the line work layer and the uh, sh shading in layer the, with a the heavy black layer and to create one whole just kind of regular layer and I'll remove the sketch uh, underneath so you can really see the ink lines so for this last bit here I'm gonna create a new layer and I'm just gonna do the lasso and the reason I make it separate layer is because there's gonna be a lot of points and whenever you want something to look fluid and have a lot of points you don't want to mess with those layers below it so just make a new layer um, whenever you're making a complex shape so for the lasso I went ahead and did that and we're just gonna go ahead and make it look very smooth or as smooth as possible and it's just gonna be from point to point kind of manipulating those the the line in order to look like a flowing line like it was purposefully done by a pencil so um, and that's one of the reasons I chose to do Wonder Woman is in order to kind of show you guys that you know fluid lines are possible because the, the 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 feminine body and the lasso in the picture kind of creates that cool effect so now we have this picture basically finish and the initial inking process is done the next step would be coloring so the next part or the second part of this how to draw uh, series uh, of Wonder Woman is going to be on coloring and I have some really cool tips on how to color so I'm gonna go ahead and throw up the finished product here the fully eat Wonder Woman and we're gonna continue this on part two I will leave you guys with the outro thank you very much for watching so if you enjoyed this video please feel free to check out some of my other videos on the left side I have a speed drawing of me drawing May from the new Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby Pokemon games and that's just a quick speed drawing I did on the left side and on the right I have a link to my gaming channel and you guys can go ahead and check out any videos you'd like on there we have a lot of funny uh, stuff on there so please feel free to check that out and also be on the lookout for my next uh, how to draw video and it's gonna be on coloring so be on the lookout for that thanks bye